Hello everyone, I'm the soloist, I hope I'm not blowing out the mic right now, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil with Kingsley, where I have okay. no idea what we're doing right now. What are we doing right now? I don't remember where we left off. <laughs> I just, yep, cool. We sure did, there is apparently a yellow gemstone somewhere. Oh yeah, that's right. I also have this key, but don't know what door it's for, but have an idea of what door it's for. And just don't intend to ever go to that door. Fair enough. See, I want to try this in the piano room. Now that we've opened it and like we've seen, oh hey, it's, you know, Sheet music. Yeah. It's like wow, look at that. It's 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 music. It really do be music. But also, I don't know. <laughs> I never have a clue what's happening anymore. I just know it's happening. Story of my life. Uh, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, nothing has presented more confusion now than playing both this and Resident Evil Zero, which is goofy because the channel doesn't know Resident Evil Zero has been getting recorded now as well. It's had an episode get recorded. Uh, I'm not going to say with who because that's a surprise to all of you people. It's a surprise series. I say... Having just said that that it's happening. <laughs> nice one. That's, you know, I, I'm just real good at that. I didn't say with who, though, so you know what? That's fine. They threw zombie dogs at me, and I was upset in that one. Because I was like, we're on a train! Why are there dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this one, it makes sense that there are zombie dogs. Yeah. And I understand. What were they like the dolphins? Yeah. Like yeah. Yep. They were the same exact dogs. Mm, that's <laughs> and like two of them made sense because they burst through the window before the train started moving. Mm. And I was like, okay, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. But then there were two more in a back room. Like I had to do, I had to go through a vent, and it was the most upsetting moment of my life, because this vent, right? It, it was set up That's in such a, a very large statement. <laughs> I, you know. It was the most upsetting moment of my life. It really was. Yep. 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 Cool. It's not. Isn't it? Isn't. Not even if I stand right in front of it okay so yeah sorry for wasting time <laughs> it's just a, I really don't know what 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 we're still doing we're doing things apparently mm. uh what was I saying oh Anywho, I'm... So, like, the doors, right? Yeah. We we all see the doors. We all mm -hmm. see these door transitions. I'm really okay with these door transitions. Mm -hmm. For the most part. Yeah. Because it's only doors. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm not okay with? That it hits what? me with both door transitions, stair transitions... And crawl space transitions in Resident you Evil Zero. Have yeah, but there's nothing like watching just stairs in the infinite void. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's very <laughs> upsetting to the soul. You're just like, oh wow, look at these stairs, and I'm just here like, why? Why do you? Why do I need to look at the stairs like this? <laughs> Dramatic effect. Dramatic effect. No. <laughs> I no Chris. <laughs> I 
I really don't know what we're doing anymore. There's apparently a whole other key that still needs to be found somewhere. Apologies to the headphone users, but I am still a little. Yeah, that. I, I'm still. I'm still. That boy is dying though. back there. Could do it better, but I'm still dying. Just a little. Yeah, he's kind of just losing it. <laughs> no, I'm actually getting it back. Oh. Oh. I forgot we got this crest. So what's that for? That's such a wonderful question. Where did we even get that? That's also a wonderful question. It's been... How long has it been? It's near a week, hasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. did an episode last week. Which means when nothing really to bad. everyone else. <laughs> They're all like, what, what are they talking about? It's been two days. No, <laughs> it's been a week. What could this crest be for? Oh, map. <laughs> I'm just so lost. First floor. There's still apparently something over in that one hallway mm. in, in the, the tiny room that shouldn't have anything still, but does. There's apparently still something in this, this main hallway. Uh, there are things upstairs where poor Richard died. I felt bad. Mm. I saw Richard alive. He's alive in Zero, because Zero takes place like maybe three hours <laughs> before this game. <laughs> it's literally the- it, it's Bravo Team. You, you follow uh, Rebecca Chambers of Bravo Team and, and this escaped con convicted lieutenant named Billy Cohen. And Re that's the girl we saw in the hallway with Richard. That's Rebecca Chambers. <laughs> Which means that somehow she does her whole game and ends up back in this mansion. <laughs> and I feel bad about it. The train is probably near the mansion. I mean, also, it, that's a lot of trauma to it, it really is. It's like so much all of one in like a matter of like hours. What is that door on the second floor? No, wait, no, I know that door. I can't unlock that. I don't have anything for it. <laughs> I've got this crest. I don't know what this crest is for. Something. Something I need to sit a crest into, apparently. Oops. What did you need, door? It's locked. Album of a helmet. <coughs> You're really just hacking it away back there. Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the poor people whose eardrums no longer get to exist. Sorry, poor people whose eardrums never get to exist. <laughs> Not you saying never get to exist. Oh. So this door is locked from the other yeah, side. I right? If it's locked from the other side, then how would you get into that? Because there's apparently a ladder, it seems, as well as another door. Oh, we need to somehow get power. <coughs> Because I see now that the elevator in the basement floor goes up to this space we haven't been able to get into on the second floor. Mm. How we get power? That's a good question. <laughs> it's the it's the the lively the livelihood of being just good souls and not wanting to ever cheat out of anything, so never googling anything outside mm -hmm. of you. Confirming that the dogs were Dobermans. <laughs> that doesn't count. I, no, I'm saying it doesn't count. <laughs> Is this. <laughs> so this leads outside. I didn't actually. I forgot. I, um, I re unlocked this door. Yeah, I don't want to be out here. <laughs> Where 
where where would a generator be? it's not like there isn't power here there just somehow isn't power to the no, basement chandeliers are definitely lit. and like i understand these are candles but oh, not but the chandeliers oh yeah yeah those are lit those are candelabras for dramatic effect. i am a candelabra <laughs> <laughs> okay. Windcrest. I just really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen anything that would fit the, the crest. Like, the, the crest would just be like, Hi, I go here. Like, there's been nothing of that sort. <laughs> I don't know how to get energy to the thing in the basement or to open that other door. There's apparently there's a, there's another key we need for it. When you said hi, I go here. You sound like that one freshman who nobody nobody believes is that now a freshman. <laughs> hi, like, you're an eleven year old. <laughs> hi, I'm I'm a freshman here. You are a child. I don't know how you got into this school, but you need to skedaddle. <laughs> I need you to yaw yeet from this position. <laughs> and they're like, no, I'm 14. I'm like, no, you're 12. This That's says this is... This says this is lodged from the other side, but... Is this not... Yeah, okay. This is connected to that painting room. Oh! I think I know where the crest goes. Whoa. Ah. A monumental discovery. This is a monumental discovery, but you know what it also means? That I have to interact with a dog. Oh boy. Hmm, let's see. Do I go through and maybe break the door handle, or do I run around the crimson head? So, I'm guaranteed a zombie in the hallway up top. I'm guaranteed three zombies in the hallway down below. Why don't you get the shotgun? I have the shotgun. It's right oh, okay. here. <laughs> Why don't you equip the shotgun? But I don't want to waste it. <laughs> well. Oh, there's not like another door. No, no, no. That's the front door. We're not. We're not letting a dog like in again. A little more, if you don't need it. Well, here's the thing. Right. Mm -hmm. I know what to expect. It's not like I'm going to get surprised. Did we? I feel like we had to have killed the red, the the crimson head that was back here, because he just has never shown back up. Why don't you find out? No. <laughs> you think I'm going to release him from that trap in case he isn't dead? I mean, yeah, you could just kill him. All right, 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 all right. Alright. 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 No! 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 Get off of me! Oh. Look at that. Not a single bullet expended. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait. No, we'll come back. <laughs> Alright, there's a dog out here. I definitely should have switched to the shotgun beforehand. And here's the moment where I say, I told you so. See, that was... That was smooth like butter. See, right here. What? You have to be joking. What? Uh oh. It's upsetting. The defiler of the accursed coffin? Are you sure what it's not that? this? It's gotta be that coffin that we've been unlocking things to. Oh, I enjoyed that it just it looks has... like it's about to fall. Yeah, but we still are, we're missing a mask. That's right. 
Okay, map. There's nothing out here. I really thought this crest was the way to go. Apparently not. I, I really had hope for it. I like... It looked like it was going to fit in everything. Not the, is that the shape of the crest? Yeah. Like that's not the same shape. Nope, you're right. <laughs> it sure ain't. Yeah. It, it definitely is not. I was nice really holding out so much hope. Oh yeah, this is the shape. No, it's not. I really thought it was. Where do I use you? And then this is, this is the paint room, painting room, that's now just filled with crows for some reason. I said some reason, like there isn't now just an open door to the outside world. Yeah, the old key just <laughs> goes there. It was a very useless use, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Not me thinking that was one of these crows for a hot second. Yes, the crows are crawling. They're the crawling. They're they're just crawling. They're crawling. All right, well I'm gonna run back into this area real quick because now that I have an empty space. I can see what's in the room that should have nothing, but for some reason doesn't have nothing. And then I can cry if a crimson head runs at me. I'm good at that. I feel like the fact that this room was emptied but now is not empty means that someone put something in it. Like what Wesker did. Oh, nope, it's just still a dagger. I really thought I took this. I could have sworn I took it. Please tell me it's... Yep, cool. It's an empty room now. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I'm so lost. I have no understanding of anything anymore. <laughs> Nothing is making sense to me. <laughs> I'm... Uh, I guess... Okay. So there's the plant room mm -hmm. that had a mask, and we took that mask and we put it on the coffin. Mm -hmm. I have this crest. I can't do anything mm -hmm. with this crest. Mm -hmm. uh, what else is there? Oh, you know, I just realized that this unlocking that door now gives me the ability to go outside and go through the <coughs> and go through the the painting room to avoid the crimson head and his friends in that other in this hallway that we're currently connected to so that's nice mm. um <laughs> i don't know there's apparently somehow still something in in the main room there where that typewriter is which i think requires me to get that other crest uh mm. thing that i took out there's still whatever's happening on the second floor, which mm -hmm. I can... <sighs> I think there's just herbs in there. And I don't think mm -hmm. there's a space for this current crest I'm holding in there. Unless there is. You know, we'll check it out. I'll deal with Richard and other zombie and the third one. All right, Chris, booking it this way. <laughs> Wasn't really booking it, but we made it. <laughs> Is this what happens to everyone who plays this game? They hit a point where they just get lost? Maybe. I've never, like, 
I've never been able to bring myself to watch people play Resident Evil until the remake of 2 and 3 came out. Mm. So like once those hit, I was like, oh I'm golden. I'm I'm wonderful. I can do this. But like everything before then, nope. <laughs> <coughs> You don't, you don't have to feel as bad as this safe room music. <laughs> it's coming from the lives. It's so loud. All right, I know there's one zombie in the hallway through this door. He's just, he's chilling, and it's fine. So I'll check the map while we're here. So much. I need to get power to the basement in order to get the elevator from the second floor to go down so I can go up into that section. I don't know how to do that, but we'll figure it out. All right, zombie in the hallway. I don't know where you're at in the hallway, and you're more than likely gonna grab me. Oh wait, no, you're dead. I forgot it died. Cause it, it caught me at one point, it, just, it like it grabbed me, <laughs> and so Chris <laughs> shoved a flashbang in its mouth, and it blew its head off. Mm. I fully forgot about that. Where were we going? To. to get power in the basement. Yes, and we were gonna check out a room in the hallway that I definitely just left. Good one. Don't you guys just love watching? This is why everyone only likes the Sunday drives. <laughs> I There are 19 views on Burnout Paradise Part 1, the very first Sunday drive. That's the most views of anything on the channel. They were probably pulled in by the fun thumbnail. No, that's before you. <laughs> oh. That's when- that was at the, like, the peak end of me making my own thumbnails. Mm. It's locked. I have a little shield. This hallway is flashing ominously. And I actually cannot I see- fun I can't see those, into this hallway uh, at Sunday all. Sunday drive thumbnails. Say that again? I said I actually do have fun with those Sunday Drive photo, uh, thumbnails. Well, that's good. Like, I just find some weird stock photos, you know? It's uh, great. I was like, I would hope you just have fun with, like, all of the... No, I do, yeah. Thumbnails? No, you find some really funny stock photos. Where is he? <laughs> I could murder him. But I won't. You should. Why? Because I don't have uh I don't have a canteen of gasoline on me. So if mm. if his head doesn't explode, he's just gonna become a crimson head. Mm. And it'll just make it worse. Now you're just playing a scary game to tag with this man. Well, because there's something in here, but I don't know what it is. But I'm also sitting at a terrible angle where there's this big glare on my screen. <laughs> so Great. whenever I go into that room, all I can see is the glare. So I'm relying on my capture device. Oh, he's really stuck. Dog, I'm right here. So I'm relying on my capture device to be like, yeah, there's something here. But where's the light switch? There, that's not an electric light up there, that's candles. That is candles. 
Oh, do you think I could take this unlit candlestick and light it with my lighter? Possibly. <laughs> that would have been fantastic, like, ten minutes ago. Yep. Or maybe like an episode ago, you know, <laughs> for being honest. <laughs> Chris, the fact that you couldn't just feel that those were shotgun shells is upsetting. Oh, it's the last piece of music! It's the last piece of music, which will then allow us to finish the sheet music, which will then allow us to... Piano. I knew what I was trying to say. Sure you did. You shush your mouth. <laughs> I I hope Richard, like Kenneth, never comes back to life. Let's go to Because honestly, it just kind of makes me feel bad about the fact that I was never <coughs> able to get that serum to him in time. He's gonna come back to haunt you. He... He's gonna haunt my dreams. He seemed so happy in the 30 seconds that I saw him in in the <laughs> in the intro portion to zero. Mm. Because they also gave me a very long narrated Chris, why portion. Why did you go down the stairs sideways like that for a second? That's just that's how he does. No, not that. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put this down, <coughs> and we're gonna put this down, we're just gonna go ahead and take this. I'm so upset that I didn't see that candelabra last time. I I'm yeah. also upset that they're calling it a candlestick. That's not what it is. It's <laughs> definitely a candelabra. I know my items. <laughs> <laughs> But, I go get that sheet music, eh? Yeah? And I can combine- Because there's nothing else in that room. That's why I don't need to kill Buddy Boy, who's running around in there. He's just vibing. <laughs> Buddy Boy? That's his name? Yeah. They're all Buddy Boys. Until they grab me. Then they're hoes. <laughs> they're all Buddy Boys. Until they grab me. And then they're hoes. Yeah. I feel like there's good. another door in this hallway. There very well could be. I bet you the moment we go and play this music, the piano is gonna give us a key. Maybe. I'm feeling it deep in my skeleton. That's how I... that's how I'm gonna say Fair I feel enough. it in my bones. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay. Yes. Now, in the safety of this hallway, we will see that this is the beginning. <coughs> this, yeah, whatever. Combine it. Boom. Wait. <laughs> now, when I look at it and I open it, ta da! The complete musical score of the Moonlight Sonata Someone Get Justice. No one out there is going to get that joke. I don't even think you got that joke. I didn't. I think he was gone I by the time you arrived. Joke, I just... He's a very excellent <laughs> piano player. I am very fond of his abilities. I wish I could do what he does. Uh, but I was never really That's skilled with the piano. Yes, he does. I know who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, he's very gifted on the piano. He can tickle those tickle those keys very well. Uh, I, on the other hand, am very good at the violin. I just have not played in a couple years. I used to take lessons. Uh, now the internet knows. Don't ever ask me to <laughs> play it for you. Knows. I won't be able to play anything you'd recognize. You would just I would just play things that you think sound nice, and it'll probably just be a scale. 
Hey, that's fine. We'll come back. Hopefully, I'd at least know it was a scam. I would hope that anyone with a, a slight background in music can be like, that's a scale. Yeah, I could probably tell you that, what what's a scale and what's not. Couldn't tell you what key, but I could tell you it's a scale. I couldn't tell you what key. I'd just be like, yeah, here's eight notes. <laughs> <laughs> here's, yeah. here's eight notes that go together. Oh, thank you. Oh, Chris. Oh, God. Chris, please. He's playing it so awkwardly. Oh, Jesus, Rebecca, you okay. scared me. Yes, I'm okay. Can't grieve forever. Oh, this is the Moonlight she Sonata. Really, she really punched you Can in you the gun for killing her friend. I feel bad. Just She's not the, even looking at the sheet music. Just oh, in the midst of this zombie My mansion. My is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Uh, yes? Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. What a weird moment. Oh, I won't. Why'd she say it like that? I don't know. I don't know why I had to- why that was an option. But that's nice. I hope it doesn't get claimed. Mm. Alright, well, Rebecca, I'll be back. <laughs> I don't know why they made it seem like it was gonna be something very negative if I if I was like, no, you can't practice. <laughs> uh, she probably would have been upset or something. I'd feel bad if I upset her. I was like, I got her friend accidentally did. killed. You killed Richard. Leave, yeah. leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> when the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Two herbs. Where were those two herbs? Oh, they're upstairs. I was like, there are two herbs sometimes, that I've just been running around. <laughs> sometimes it throws me off a little bit when you say herbs. <laughs> hey, welcome to KFC. We have eleven herbs and spices. <laughs> what? Because they say they say herbs. They're like herbs and spices. I didn't know that. At least I that's what I remember KFC. from when I used to go to KFC. What makes you think that I go to KFC? I mean, nothing. I was just making the statement. <laughs> okay. I've been to KFC a total of one time. And it was not good. <laughs> so you had the experience of everyone who's gone to KFC one time. <laughs> I'm just loading up on these health items. They're all gonna come in handy yeah. later. I'm gonna hold on to this one though. What did I? Or like, no, it wasn't even a KFC. It was a KFC Taco Bell. Oh yes, you had the the combo wombo. <laughs> and I stupidly chose to eat at the KFC portion and not the Taco Bell portion. Why did we only combine with Taco Bell? <laughs> I think there's also KFC Pizza Hut. No, no, there's Pizza Hut Taco Bell. I've seen that oh. one. I haven't seen KFC no, I Pizza Hut. Recently, no, I think that they recently put on KFC Pizza Hut. What? That sounds like madness. Why would you want that? Who's like, you know what I want with this bucket of fried chicken? A personal sized pizza. <laughs> I actually feel like I do know people that want more than that. That feels like too much. Oh, I can hear her from in the hallway? That's kinda... That's kinda hot, Rebecca. <laughs> what? 
But this also feels Chris, like how we Chris, did. I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> this feels like how we get three different zombies to just show up at our location. A zombie just pops out of the piano. <laughs> Not out of the piano. You never know. I'd be upset. <laughs> When are you not? You've got a good point. Uh. What? Bro, how did this mansion ever run? Trevor's diary. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. <coughs> for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family... I hope they're alright. They are- I hope they are alright. Who writes like that? <laughs> you put doesn't, but you wouldn't put there? <laughs> I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. Oh? <laughs> How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter. The Wait, 1967? It's 1998. Oh my word. <laughs> I've lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family is all ready. I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I've got to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem... I have to try and remember for my own sake. Interesting. Will you take the gold emblem? <gasps> uh, uh, no! Haha. Uh -huh. So, I understand now. So we've got to grab the wooden emblem to replace it with this gold one, that way we're not trapped. Mm. Well, thanks, Rebecca. You've been helpful. Can I talk to you? Rebecca has a look of concern in her eyes. Well, that's understandable. She yes. just played the Moonlight Sonata and opened up a secret passage in a house that's just filled with kill you traps. Yes. That did momentarily sound like I said Caillou traps. <laughs> Alright. So. <laughs> I guess my new question becomes. If Rebecca is all fine and dandy, where's Billy? <laughs> Billy Cohen? The secondary antagonist of Resident Evil Zero? Where are you at, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> but also, Rebecca is incredibly young. Like, she's stupid young and I don't get it. <laughs> She looks like 12. I think it's so goofy. So, so Zero, right? It's a prequel yeah. to this game set like hours before the events of this mansion uh -huh. incident. But the way they talk, like the, the way that game goes is that rather than you play through the whole game with one character, you have both Rebecca and Billy, like, at the same time. Strange. And it's very interesting, like, you get to switch back and forth between them, you can also set so, like, the one will, can follow you and attack, or it'll follow you and remain idle, and it, it's very interesting, it's, I like it because I kind of feel a little less like I'm going to get murdered all the time. But, right, here's the but. <laughs> Sometimes. I wish... No, where was I going with that? I forgot where I was going with it. Uh, Sometimes you wish. Where 
was I going with this explanation? Oh, but like, in this game, it's like, yeah, I know, I know Rebecca's alive, and I know Wesker's alive, because he left me stuff. I don't know if Jill's alive, yeah. I don't know where Barry is, but I know, I know Barry's gonna live only because Barry shows up in a later game. Mm. But, uh, and I remember when I was doing all my research to, to acquire all the games that like I think Rebecca also lives Rebecca lives Jill lives Chris lives I think Wesker lives pretty much everyone we've seen alive so far lives including Barry because we haven't seen him at all since the opening cutscene which at this point is like Choo. six hours ago <laughs> Choo. bless you what is that sneeze why does that sound so fake I don't know <laughs> You literally I'm went. I'm trying not to sneeze super loud because I've already been coughing. Oh, you were like, a chew, a chew, and I was like, why is that the <laughs> fakest sneeze I've ever heard? Well, I can play sneeze better than that. I would hope so. <laughs> what, else, what else do they? T I'd have to question what they're teaching you in those classes. <laughs> Hey, Rebecca. For a hot second, thought she wasn't still there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip it. I really have to watch this whole thing close. Wow. Tasty. Rebecca, you could easily follow me and make me feel better about this entire game. Looking like that now. Nope. Because apparently, apparently only Zero can make me feel good about playing the game. <coughs> they gave me another lad who also has their own weapon and is just there. run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it? I, yeah? Uh, if we turn the large gear... Turn it right. When the two have run each other through... I feel like that involves a sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't like the lightning or the music. Yes. Small. We'll also turn it to the right. No. Oh. Oh, the painting. What is it? Through the head. Short sword is in the chest, while the long one's in the head. So, tiny gear. Wait, short sword was in the chest. Oh, I should have left the big gear where it was then. Yeah. So small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this is annoying. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Large. Yep. To the left. Nope. What? I have them backwards, don't I? Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm so good at this. Good job. Yep. Small. Sure, go to the left. Small. Left. Yes. Large. 
Left is also fine. It will get there too. Yep. Large. Left. Yep. Nope. What does that do now? Oh? What is this? I know there's nothing unusual. Let me see the emblem. <laughs> shield. Shield. Yeah. We got the shield key. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. I'm so glad you, with your amazing piano skills, just so happened to find right where I was, right when I needed you. That was real convenient, mm. <laughs> Rebecca. Okay. What uses a shield key? The question of the century? Map. First floor. Everything's unlocked except the room I just went to, which didn't use the key. And that other one uses the Spencer key, which we don't have. Second floor. That one. Uh. Ooh. There might actually be a couple spots. Tasty. I call that scrum dilly umptious if I've ever heard it before. I feel like everyone regrets that I have a mouth and it works. No. <laughs> Thank you for speaking on behalf of the 23 followers. Subscribers. You're welcome. They're all the same word. <laughs> Same word for different platforms. Oh. <laughs> A lot of these doors really want that helmet key. Too bad it took us like 20 years to get through this whole thing. What? What's happening in this room? What? Oh, this is not the way I meant to go. Nice one. Thank you. No problem. Yep, surely meant to go this way. It is I. I am surely. Bye, fake key. Bye, fake key. <laughs> oh, you have to be joking. <laughs> Everything wants a key I don't have. <laughs> so what do you unlock? <laughs> a whole lot of nut. Well, there's stuff on the other side, so I guess I, I can go over there. There's two things? I can check out the Richard hallway. See if it unlocks that door, uh, and then yes, I can... the Richard Hallway. <laughs> the Richard Hallway. And then, at the end of the, the book room, there was... something. <coughs> Who knows what the it was. The book room? the library? Shush. I didn't want anyone to commentate on the fact that I called it a book room. Too late. That requires me to cross the whole map. But before I do that, I sure am gonna re grab my shotgun shells that I put down in order to grab other things. Because I think I have the space for shotgun shells. What if this key only opens two doors? Or maybe it just opens one. Then it only opens two doors. Yeah. That would honestly. Still an open door nonetheless. Yeah, you're right. It would also be super funny, I can't lie. They, like, they would have done me dirty at the amount of, of circles I had to run through to get that, but it would still be funny. Da 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 oh, nope, da 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 Clip clop, clip clop, I am a horse. <laughs> there, I know there's some 
someone out there that's like, oh, you're gonna have to play through the Jill run, because Jill's run is also kind of different. And like, I know there are some differences, but there, it's not enough for me to warrant a Jill run. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it's not worth the fear. It's not worth the soul-crushing fear. Because like, I know she encounters some of the same things at in the same spots as Chris does, but she also has differences, like the 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 room, the the crushy room. That one genuinely like tries to crush her before she even makes an attempt at the shotgun, and Barry saves her. Like I know that, cause I'm not that dumb. I know enough about games. I don't. <laughs> Shout out to all the headphone users who are still using this point. Yeah, you guys just haven't learned your lesson, I guess. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Well, I guess this is the one room this key unlocks. That's incredibly upsetting. I would like to save the game. <laughs> the fact that this one room is the only room that this key unlocks hilarious terrifying i will save the game <laughs> that's just so funny it's funny for no reason <laughs> I can't imagine being Chris. I also can't imagine what Chris's inner thoughts look like every time something just disappears from his hand, like the keys. Because the game is like, oh, you've got no further use for this, you want to toss it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And Chris is probably there like, where to go? <laughs> or he just leaves it in the door. But how would he know? How would Chris be like, yeah, this is, I don't need it. <laughs> Nope. Because he is the game. Because he is the game, I've said. Because he is the game. Yes. Oh, look at that. I can carry my knife again. It's, a, it's been a... That's not what we were here for. I was here to, to save so I could go through the door and just kind of see what's there. <laughs> mm. I kind of also definitely want to move things around in here. At least close this gap. <laughs> nope, can't do that. <laughs> Alright, we'll do... Yep, we know it is. Yes, please. We'll do this, and then we'll just... We'll check out the room and just see what's in there, right? Mm. Yep, transfer that data. All real good. Transfer it. Yep. Thanks. way I can move things down is to just fully take them out. That's fine. I'll take my one gap. I'll take my two gaps. <laughs> Let me get out of fancy McSchmancy music. And let's see what's through that door. Jill, don't open that door. game is that from? I think it's from this game. I think that's on the Jill side. Oh no, it's Wesker. Wesker himself straight up says that when you try to go through the front door, like, immediately, when they're all there, he's like, don't open that door. Because, <laughs> you know, it was 1998, and we just really didn't have a good sense of what it was like to have, like, good... Good graphics. Oh man, wait. Do you think that Richard would have been with Rebecca, like in the piano room, if he was still alive? Possibly. Oh man, now I kind of feel bad. <laughs> I don't know. 
What is this? I do not like this. Hey, hey, big boy! Oh no! It's a good thing you saved. Sure is. Oh, that's so loud. I been <coughs> poisoned. Oh, that's upsetting. Now hold on, I wanna deal with this. Why is it like that? Well this was 2002. Well, still. I don't know where the snake's going! Sure does feel like it. <laughs> uh. Uh, Chris, this is not the time to reload, man. I'm just gonna deal with it. His voice cracks. I missed. I'm so sad. You sound so disheartened. <gasps> Is that? Oh, it's the last one. Yeah, no, I know I'm poisoned. Uh. Oh man, wait. Take the herb. Yeah, but I'm still gonna be poisoned. I'm just gonna slowly die. Isn't that? Is the this is the yeah, outcome now. Yeah, there's now. room to get the mask. Oh, you've got a point, you've got a point. If I take the serum, will it unpoison me? Probably. Is there anything else in this room? There sure what is. What you could've done for Richard. Shh. There's apparently still things in this room. I would like to figure out what before I run away. I was like, what was that one movie? With John Voight. Oh, uh, Anaconda. Yeah. <laughs> I really Anaconda you. Do not look into the eyes of the man you intend to kill. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. You can't forget that they let. Oh my god, and then no. Do you remember when he was tied up? And he like, <sighs> straight pulled a... Poison. Oh no, what's happening? Serum in all caps. In case I didn't understand. I know where the serum is, dog. <laughs> as I was saying, as I was saying, so they have like John Voight tied up, and then he like, like the guy's like trying to kill him, and he's like fighting him with his feet, and then he like somehow like scooches up enough to like get his legs around the other guy's neck. Remember that? It's not that he scooches up, it's that this man leaped from a seated position. <laughs> Just straight <laughs> leaps. Like he's the king. The king of just leapage. From a seated and position. Just strangles, and just strangles this guy with his thighs. Yeah, he strangled a woman to the point that she knocked unconscious, and then he just kind of pushed her off the boat. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I said he pushed her off the boat. Yup. <laughs> he sure does. <laughs> I need serum. <laughs> I know we didn't save Richard, but you know what? Richard in return saved us. We had serum. I didn't have to go I hunting guess. for it. That was probably the point of that. 
No, I think we could have saved him. Here's what I here's what I'll say. I think we could have saved Richard, right? Mm. And then in return, he would have probably had something for us. That's true. Now you don't get it. Now I don't get it. Whatever it may have been, if it even was something. Because I feel like that's the only, like, timed portion of anything the game has ever given us, was getting the serum back to Richard, which is why I didn't expect it to be timed. <laughs> Nothing else we've experienced in this game has been timed whatsoever. Oh, my back. I need serum. <laughs> All caps. Probably meant he yelled it. But, you know, he couldn't yell it because he needed it. <laughs> His body wasn't functioning. Mm. I also don't feel like that snake is fully dead. Well, uh, that was a dumb statement. I know that snake is not yeah, fully dead because it ran off. Mm -hmm. I want to know where it's going to come back. Every time I go down these steps, I feel like I'm hearing dogs, but it's chains. Because those two things sound the same. Oh no. Oh, dog. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, he just got you. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, thanks. There's a switch. The stone and metal object? I sure will. Uh, That's the thing that goes in the thing. It's the right shape. You're 100% correct. Sure there is, bud. You know, that would have been a lot more scary if we hadn't already encountered like five Crimson Heads before that. Mm. Like, I could have definitely used my shotgun on him and had it go much faster, but I wasn't about to waste that precious ammo. Especially knowing there's a snake still running about. <laughs> <laughs> snake. S snake. Snake. Wait, where am I going? Oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I forgot I carved a path specifically to avoid the other Crimson Head and his friends. Mm. And it runs right out here. That's right, everybody. Hi, I'm Zach a million, and welcome to my channel. Why does this need a cutscene? It's right here. Everything okay. Everything needs a cutscene. Bro, these crows are sounding more and more aggressive every time I come through. Honestly, <laughs> kind of hurts me. But also, how did this mansion ever run? There had to have always been like hundreds of people working in here. 
mm-hmm. like my word the way that it all seems to be working out the amount of people you would need at every spot just to get to things ridiculous yeah What's in this door? Is it regrets? Is it a save? Probably. <gasps> Whoa, wait, what is in here? Oh, there's another door. There's shotgun shells. That's tasty. <coughs> wow. I don't like how this kind of feels like the kind of room you'd get into right before a big fight. Where it's like, hey, here's all these items. Why can't I get to this? You see it, right? Where? Oh. Oh, because these are like steps, I see. Mm. The flash grenade? Sure will. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean to go through this door. Too late. Nope. <laughs> Give me a hot second game. You really wanted me to just... I was trying to get this first, this healing, right here. Yeah. First aid spray? Definitely will take that. Okay, so we came in this door. There's a door here and there's a door down there. Where does this one lead? So they both lead outside. I, I, yep, mm-hmm. I should have seen that coming. The moment they gave me more shotgun shells. I know you guys are out here, dogs. Two dogs, in fact. Three dogs, in fact. Stab him, Chris. Is that a... Yup. Sure was a flashbang. Chris, you son of a bum. You really died right there. Alright, well that's where we're going to leave it off for today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Resident Evil. Where did we leave off? Nice. Oh, I'll have to fight that snake again. That's fine. Yep. That's 100% fine. Uh, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Tell me what other things you're hoping to see here on the channel. It wasn't like the snake fight was hard. It wasn't hard. And then there was a crimson head, and then I have to go face three dogs. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I have been the soloist. If you feel so inclined, make sure to follow me over. What? Follow me on social media at the link down in the description. Uh, I already said I was the soloist. I usually don't do that till the end. That was my mistake. That's been Kingsley. I have been. <laughs> and I'll see all of you tomorrow.